Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. So today we will take a look at linear search algorithm. So if we are given an array of integers and also a target number, so we have to search the position of that element in the array. So for example, if we are given 34 as the target number, so we have to return the position of 34 in the given array. So we will use linear search algorithm to find out the target number, also known as sequential search. So if we are able to find the element in the array, then we'll return the index of that element, otherwise we'll return minus 1. So now let's take an example where we are given a target number is 34 and we are also given an array. So now let's take a look at the iteration 1. So we are given an array of integers and also a target number which is 34. So we'll start the index from 0 and we'll iterate over the whole array. So in the iteration 1, if we see the array of index is equal to 10, which is not equal to our target. So we'll increment that index. So now the index has become 1. So now if we see array of index is equal to 50, which is not equal to 34. So we will increment the index again. So now array of index is equal to 40, which is also not equal to target. So we will increment the index again. Now again array of index is equal to 70 which is also not equal to our target so we will increment the index again. So the index has become 4 now. So now array of index is equal to 25 which is also not equal to 34 so we will increment the index again. Now the index is equal to 5 and array of index is equal to 34 which is also equal to our target so we can return index of 34 that is 5. Now let's take a look at the code. We are given an array and the target number. So we will iterate over the whole array using for loop starting the index equal to 0 until the whole length of the array. So if we are able to find an element which is equal to target then we will return the index value. Even after iterating the whole array, if you are not able to find the element, then we will return minus 1. Now you must be thinking that how long this algorithm takes. So let's take a look at that. The time complexity for this algorithm is of the order of n, where n is the size of the array. On the y-axis we are showing number of comparisons and on the x-axis we are showing number of elements. So you can see it, it as a straight line. And if we talk about the space complexity, that is constant for this algorithm. Thank you for watching.